started around about 30 odd years ago with a collection of hospital radio stations in the Liverpool area, uh, Radio Newsham, uh, Radio Royal as it was, and uh, Sunshine Radio. And then things moved on and it just ended up with Newsham uh, and Radio Broad Green. For various reasons Newsham closed down and so we became the only hospital radio station operating in Liverpool as we do to this day. We have primarily two studios that we operate on, although one of the studios is our main, what we call on-air studio. Um, any new members coming in will, will be trained if they want to be a presenter. Uh, we prefer not to employ DJs. Uh, we class them as radio presenters because it is slightly different. So they go through, a, as I say, a pretty rigorous training session. We can provide a very, very personal service. And it's also been established uh, medically that hospital radio is of therapeutic value in aiding patients' recovery when they've been in hospital. So yeah, absolutely crucial part of hospital life for patients and indeed staff. I'm on twice a week. I do. A, we most of us do a two-hour show. I'm on Wednesdays and Fridays, midday till two, and I like to try and play more of the oldies, uh, 60s and 70s, which is music that I like. I don't play too much modern music because of the age range of the audience that we have here. It's mainly older people and pensioners. So I play what I know and what I like. I'll go as far back as the 50s, but I'll pretty much play anything. And I play uh, all the well-known artists and the pop stars and the chart music from that era, from the 50s, 60s and 70s. But also, I like to have a little bit of fun. So I'll play like singing actors and I'll play theme tunes. I like theme tunes, but I also play some of the old radio jingles. It fits in with the kind of 60s and 70s music I play. But theme tunes from TV and radio, instrumentals, uh, silly songs, novelty songs, a bit of fun. It's all about having a bit of fun and a sense of humour. And I'll do silly stuff, uh, but maybe even tell some bad jokes and things like that. But it's just about, hopefully, trying to make them out there feel a little bit better. We're a registered charity, we get no hospital health service or public funding. Any money that we raise is, is done entirely through our own efforts. Um, and on that basis we do run various events where we're raising money. Uh, we work with other charities such as the British Heart Foundation uh, and we have a joint arrangement with them so we'll help them with their events, they help others with our events and so we get some of the funding with those events. So yeah, we're entirely self-funded. Radio Broadgreen is a major fundraiser. Sometimes we'll go out and, and uh, assist sort of blind dogs and different things like that. We do open we do open days, we do outside uh, to supermarkets and backpacking and also mostly oh, we, we've actually collections more than backpacking because we have to do with our backpacking we put a bit of theatre to it hence Mickey and Minnie hello Kizzy uh, to attack the kids as well as the people and also promoting the hospital all the way through promoting the hospital and we find out it's, it's, it's very good because you, you, you're making people aware of what the hospital radio is all about it's not just all music and mad stuff it's connection with the patients and a lot of people come and say that they've been in these hospitals and you know they've had radio and they've loved it when they've been in bed basically that's that's the bottom line of what we're doing but when we go to our fundraisers of course as you know we are we are self-supportive uh, we don't we, we raise our own funds and i think that's the basic part of us going out doing our fundraising and every every week we actually have what you call a patients of the week and uh, the, we have to, we have a little talk with the nursing staff and say, which is your favourite patient in the world? And they go, well, so-and-so, so-and-so, or he's been down a bit this week, so how can we build him up? So what they do, they make him patients of the week, and consequently, I'll, I'll get this on the Tuesday and go back on the Thursday with a certificate already made out to him, and a little, oh, we have a radio bro green mug. OK, it's not rocket science, but the, the, the shock and the, the joy it can bring to the patients of the week. And we also have what you call a nurse of the month. And what we also do there, we get, we get in touch with the staff and say, well, OK, who's your favourite nurse? Who's your favourite nurse? And they give us a name. So OK, keep your mouth shut, don't say nothing. 
and then I'll go back on the Thursday with a lovely clock with the nurse of the month and we present them with a, a clock and the radio. We have a great interaction with the staff and the patients and you know every word we go in we're more than welcome they just open the doors to us. It's absolutely great because we, we can bring we can bring a lot of joy, a lot of fun, a lot of banter, a lot of silliness into the wards and it's just they could all be sitting in a six bed ward basically looking at one another. But when we go in, when Radio Broker Dean goes in, we're on the stage. They've got, they've got a little, you know, an hour of theatre because we have everyone interacting with everyone else in the world. And it, you just can't buy it. You just totally can't buy it. And of course, that's what we're all about here in Radio Broker Dean, is to put them smiles on their faces. If we've made someone so happy, we just go out and go like that with our two fists in the air. Yes, it's done. And that, that's, that's what we're all about. Just making people and putting smiles on people's faces. And it makes us millionaires. We're absolutely fantastic on that when we go out. And, you know, we've made such a lot of people happy. If you have a particular favourite that you'd love to hear on Radio Broad Green, then call the studio now on 282 6210.